to His Holiness Pope Francis I. Called the Oregon Sri Yantra, it is east of the Steams Mountain in Oregon State, USA. A large crop circle type shape was found August 10, 1990. Not in a crop field, but in the hard pan of a dry, dry lake. The point is, the perfectly square shape is vast, 13.3 miles or 21.404 kilometres of lines. Inside the perimeters, these lines form complex triangular shapes, curved lines and circles, but moreover, the amount of material excavated are in hundreds of tons and yet is not piled up anywhere but simply vanished. Clearly these complex shapes are angelic for no human being could have done it. The area is remote with no tyre tracks in, around or leading into the area. The location is east of the Steams Mountain. It was discovered by pilots from the Idaho National Guard and it is called the Oregon Sri Yantra. Here it is, taken from 9,000 feet or 3,000 metres. Discovered by the Idaho National Guard. Now the shape is a Hindi Sri Yantra, representative of heaven, earth and hell. Now we know that the oldest prophecy of Jehovah Yahweh is Hindi, the oldest religion. It predicted by name, Jesus Christ, he, Yahweh Jehovah, would be born a man and be crucified, opening the gates of hell for the inmates. When I, as Jesus, rose from the dead, all of those who were dead in the earth were resurrected as I came out of the tomb, the ransom paid. Now on March the 11th, 2013, Rome time, Pope Benedict XVI and I started communicating via live emails, meaning he would send me an email and I would respond immediately. He requested a photo of me, which Andrea forwarded from my wife, Mrs. Golightly Marshall. The photo of me, which was overlaid on that of the face on the Shroud of Turin. Pope Benedict XVI studied the photo for three days and watched videos we had prepared and sent to the papal office. Pope Benedict XVI concluded I was Salvatore Mundi, the saviour of the world, Jesus Christ. Moving along to the image of the Shroud of Turin front and back, the left side is the front of the image and on the right side in the photograph is the back. The red line is the face cloth. It measures 3.5 inches by 171 inches or 43, 43.4 millimetres by 88.8 .8 millimetres for a total of 385,693.92 square millimetres. And then the larger area in inches is 39.5 by 171 for a total of 6754.5 square inches. You'll note in the bottom diagram the separation that uh, Christ has made to see the face cloth. Now the face cloth was used to bind the jaw closed, preventing the jaw from falling open after rigor mortis, when the muscles relax after the effect ceases. The red line is the face cloth, three and a half inches by 171 inches, or, as I said, 43.4 4, millimetres by 88.8 .8 millimetres. Now, this number here of the square millimetres, 3856 from 3844 and 1165, to show alongside the public, that is to expose to infamy, make a public example, put to an open shame, which, of course, is referring to the Crucifixion Day, the 93rd day of the year, which was April 3rd, 33 AD. The larger area is 39.5 inches by 171 inches for a, a total of 6754.5 square inches or 4357733.22 square millimetres. Hebrew 4357 from 3615 is completion. The 7332 portion of that number is to emaciate, 
the distance around the perimeter of the larger cloth is 171 inches plus 39.5 inches multiplied by 2. However, in millimeters adds up to 10,693.4 millimeters. 1069 is a primitive root properly to burst the womb in Hebrew. That is, bear or make early fruit of woman or tree, also from 1061, to give the birthright. Make firstborn, be firstling, bring forth first child, new fruit, and indicates reincarnation. The face cloth perimeter, 171 plus 3.5 inches multiplied by 2, equals 349 inches. From 303 and 2896 to scream up aloud, cry out. The diagonal of the shroud is 175.5 inches. 1755 from 1752 is a revolution of time. That is an age or generation, also a dwelling. Age evermore, generation ever, posterity. There are 169.4 threads per square inch. This number is Emmanuel in the New Testament found once. In Matthew 1.23, quoting, Behold, a virgin shall be with child, and shall bring forth a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel, which being interpreted is God with us. That verse, Matthew 1.23, has a Greek gematria of 8,880. I was 8,880 days old when my daughter Tracy Lee was born, in Port Alberni on May the 4th, 1968, when the sunrise to sunset for the day was 888 minutes. Greek gematria for Jesus, of course, is 888. The shroud not only was Pope Benedict convinced that I am the Christ, it predicts a length of time when a baby would be reborn as the inheritor. As the larger area is 6,754.5 square inches. Hebrew 6754, meaning to shade, phantom, resemblance, hence an image. The 0.5 in Greek for Abba of Aramaic origin, meaning father. So what it's saying is the phantom is the father or the image is the father. So now we go back to look at the three yantra shape cut into the dry lake bed in Oregon. We measure from it latitude 42.738105 north, longitude 118.3140111 west to where I was reborn at 105 Rothschild Avenue, Rosebury, Sydney, Australia. The distance is 7.54 nautical miles. Again, Hebrew 6.754, phantom resemblance, hence an image. Again, the point 0.5 on the shroud, meaning father. The phantom equals ghost is the father. Here's the diagram measuring between the location of the Three Yantra formation in Oregon, measuring to the rebirth place of the Christ, 8,880 kilometers. Sorry, that is 6,754 nautical miles. The 8,880 kilometers is even more spectacular <laughs> because that is the distance between where the Shroud of Turin is on exhibition, public display, measuring back to Oregon to the center, the latitude and longitude of the Sri Yantra, and of course is the value of Matthew 123. Behold, the virgin shall be with child and shall bring forth a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel. Manuel, which being interpreted is God with us.
Now, the time that the date, uh, August the 10th, 1990, when the formation was discovered and our visit to Turin on April 26th and 27th this year, 2013, the distance in time is 8295 and 8296 days. This number is cut or cutting, as was the three Yantra cut into the dry lake bed. And there it is, you can see 8296 from 8295, an incision cutting. Now that number and word is found once in Zechariah 123. And in that day will I make Jerusalem a burdensome stone for all people. All that burden themselves with it shall be cut in pieces, though all the people of the earth be gathered together against it. So you have Zechariah 1.23, the same as Matthew 1.23, the same number. Now the Vatican is in control of Jerusalem. To destroy the church means that all property of the Vatican can be seized by the people, and therefore the Zionists will move in to take control of it. Then bring in the pre-manufactured temple that has been quarried and cut from the finest sandstone in the world in South Africa. Now Kevin Annette is backed by the Illuminati Zionists. It is Ramadan for two weeks ending August 17, 2013. The Jews are banned from the Temple Mount as only Muslims are allowed in the area. Therefore, the Muslims can claim the area as it was dominated by the Vatican. The Belgian ITCCL International Tribunal The Sri Yantra formation was observed on August 10, 1990. This was the 11th in Australia, and it was 44 years earlier when my family moved from the home on Rothschild Avenue to number 3 Old Botany Road, Mascot. I was 942 days old. The name Jesus is found within 942 verses of the New Testament of the 1611 King James Version of the Bible. In my last communication with Pope Benedict XVI, I told him to be patient. On the 4th of August 2013, the Vatican has been declared a criminal state and arrest warrants issued for Francis and his high officials. Kevin Annette was in Port Alberni just after I was there in 1991. He left in 1996 and I left shortly after. He knew I was the Christ, as did all of the native people. We contacted him in 2010, but was ignored even though his secretary was excited to hear the news and told us she would make sure he would call. He works for the Illuminati. The Illuminati have been the enemy of the Roman Catholic Church for a very long time. They have been successful in obtaining a judgment against the Church and Francis. The Vatican will be destroyed. Francis and high officials arrested leaving 1.2 billion Catholics without a Pope. And this will automatically reinstate Pope Benedict, whom I have renamed Petros Romanus, Peter II of Rome. The Illuminati are behind Kevin and Ed, and they believe they have finally destroyed the Roman Church. The bench warrant for Bergoglio, Francis, was issued in Belgium on August 1st, 2013. Here is the bench warrant on the left and the proclamation. August 4, 2013, the Roman Catholic Church is declared a transnational criminal organisation, a legal notice and instrument issued by the International Common Law Court of Justice in Brussels. Now on that date, August the 3rd, Bergoglio will have been 76.62 years old. However, he is small fry. What the Zionists are after is Jerusalem. The proclamation decrees that anyone can seize the property of the church, including all bank accounts. The Zionists behind Annette could not care less about Francis. What they are after is Jerusalem. They can easily arrange the Jews to seize all church property and leave no option for the Vatican to object. Bank accounts seized sounds very Rothschild, and the ultimate goal, goal is the building of the temple. 
Now, where is the number 7662 that Gogliel's age found, and what does it mean? One verse only in Ezra 6 7. Let the work of this house of God alone, let the governor of the Jews and the elders of the Jews build this house of God in his place. Alone. Hebrews 662. Corresponding to the root of 7733, to quit, that is, allow to remain, leave, let alone. Originally, I offered Bergoglio the option of quitting, acknowledging Christ is back, as told to him by Pope Benedict XVI, who declared to him, Christ is back. Ezra 6 7, let the work of this house of God alone, let the governor of the Jews and the elders of the Jews build this house of God in his place, has an English dramatia of 12.12. Therefore, this is a direct reference to the Revelation 12.12, Therefore rejoice ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them, woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil is come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. Then the victims of Francis will come forward and bear witness against Francis, who kidnapped the papal staff of Pope Benedict XVI. This will rally the 1.2 billion Catholics and a new church under Christ, the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Then the world order will be destroyed. Gold and silver will be worthless. Vatican III will be implemented and the church will print its own money, establish health care centres in churches, the nuns will be released from convent slavery and women will be on the same level as priests and can marry. Francis in his Jesuit oath, as dreadful as it is, does have one sentence. His Jesuit oath, a Jesuit is a disciple of the Black Pope, I will insert part of the oath, Francis has sworn. He and all Jesuit do so in the name of Jesus, Mary, Michael and God. I, Francis, now in the presence of Almighty God, the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Blessed Michael, the Archangel, the Blessed Saint John the Baptist, the Holy Apostles, Saint Peter and Saint Paul and all the saints and sacred hosts of heaven and to you, my ghostly father, the Superior General of the Society of Jesus, founded by St. Ignatius Loyola in the pontificate of Paul III. So Francis has sworn to rid the earth of the enemies of Jesus. The Jews are about to destroy the church. Yet he can prevent them taking Jerusalem and all the assets of the church. How? His Jesuit oath, the one sentence, quoting, even to descend so low as to become a Jew among Jews that you might be enabled to gather together all information for the benefit of your order as a faithful soldier of the Pope. And all he has to do is agree with Pope Benedict XVI. Christ is back and he will be forgiven all sins and his staff arrested and dealt with for offending Jesus, myself, in telling me that Father Giuseppe was shot dead while trying to escape from the house Francis had arranged for his imprisonment. Continuing with the quote, the oath, superior, the superior in their order. My son, here too for you have been taught to act the dissembler among Roman Catholics to be a Roman Catholic and to be a spy even among your own brethren, to believe no man, to trust no man, among the reformers to be a reformer, among the Huguenots to be a Huguenot, among the Calvinists to be a Calvinist, among other Protestants generally to be a Protestant, and obtaining their confidence to seek even to preach from their pulpits, and to denounce with all the vehemence in your nature our holy religion and the Pope and even to descend so low as to become a Jew among Jews, that you might be enabled to gather together all information for the benefit of your order as a faithful soldier of the Pope, that is the Roman Catholic Pope. 
In these dreadful times, we see the entire world has been consumed by the Jews and fully intend to start World War III and kill all Christians. Francis, I, pro I will, as I promised Benedict, forgive your sin of denying the Holy Ghost. The Church is about to be destroyed by the Jews. What is necessary is your understanding that unless you agree with Pope Benedict XVI, the legal system of the Jews, which has manoeuvred the law which they wrote to destroy the Roman Church by targeting the Vatican, which is satanic, under the iron fist of the Jews above the Freemason homosexual infiltration by Vatican II, will have no effect once Christ is recognised. The Jews will be made of none effect. The Protestant hordes with their many Bibles, dominated by the Freemason Lucifer 1611 Bible, will be destroyed. The Catholic Church will introduce Vatican III. They will print the money for all nations and in doing so eliminate the Jews. Health centres established, economies will boom. Protestant churches will do nothing for the people. Protestant churches which do nothing for the people will see their children walk down the street to the Catholic Church where they can partake of the limitless good flowing out from within. You will have the option of being the deputy to Benedict XVI, whom I renamed Petros Romanos Peter II. And between both of you, assisted by Archbishop George, will cleanse and implement precisely the decrees of Vatican III. Or you can retire a hero for announcing you were told by Benedict XVI in your meeting on March 23, 2013, and that after considering and based on current events have concluded, you swore to uphold by Almighty God is indeed myself, Brian Leonard Go Lightly Marshall, King of Kings and Lord of Lords. At your option, you can retire and return to Argentina. <laughs>